Hello Gaming World, this is Mr. Karate Jesus here from Untang Gorilla Games and here is our first review for the Xbox One. The game is called Killer Instinct. Let's just say after years of waiting to hear that ultra console sound, I got the fighting game that I've been waiting for. I love Street Fighter, I love Mortal Kombat, I love Tekken, heck, even Injustice. But none of these games have the intensity that Killer Instinct has. People are going to complain about the lack of characters and modes, but those are most likely people trying to put the game down or gamers that can't play the game because it's only for the Xbox One. But let me tell you this, this game is worth every penny. At any rate, Killer Instinct has been away far too long and I enjoyed the arcade, the Super NES and the, the, the Nintendo 64 versions of the game and I was concerned about Double Helix working on this version of the game but thankfully they had access to Ken Lobb who was the original programmer with Rare when Killer Instinct was first created. The game was one of the flashiest games I have seen in a while, especially for a fighter. It is not nearly on par with the Street Fighter series, but it is still a lot of fun to play and nearly as fun to watch. Every blow and combo is vicious and very dramatic, not only visually, but also audibly. The sounds during the matches is intense and adds excitement, but the music is a mixed bag. Some will like it but more likely many will not. The combo system feels fam familiar to anyone who has played the original, but it is also a bit cheap in some regards since the successful blow to your opponent opens them up for more damage combos. The upside to this is the famous combo breaker. Heard in nearly every video that you have seen for this game, will be awesome. With this in mind, there is a bit more depth to the franchise, which is very welcome and changed and makes the game seem less dated than it would be otherwise. The only real downside to this game seems to be the lack of content. Free to play means you only get one fighter, which is Jago. A $20 purchase with net six characters. More fighters will be released incrementally but it has to be said, Microsoft, you really need, you really, really, really need to release a complete game and not rely on DLC to clean it up. All in thought, this is a very interesting fighter that is sure to see some rounds at the next Evo. Anyway, don't listen to the bashers. If you have an Xbox One, this is a must-have game. This game rocks and it brings back memory on every level. That is why this game gets an 8 knockouts out of 10. So if you want to play or you want to play someone online, you hit up King James Boss and I will take any challengers. But this is a must have game for Xbox One and you gotta have this game. Everyone get your outro combos ready and have fun with this new killer instead.